you. Hi guys and welcome again to the new basic learning and today we are going to learn about the physics which is related to the velocity time graph. The chapter was in continuation which was motion in one dimension if you remember. That is for uh, class 9 and part, part is 7. Part 6 I have done that was about the uh, distance and displacement how we can calculate the distance and displacement with the help of velocity time graph. So the acceleration part was left now in this particular part we are going to cover the acceleration part. Okay, so first we have uh, first we will focus on the concepts because uh, by the concept only we will check out by the sorry by the coordinate system we are going to calculate the acceleration. So if we suppose it's a straight line point A and point B. So a coordinate hai, a coordinate hai, x1 and y1 x1 comma y1 or wait okay x1 y1 or b ka coordinate hai x2 comma y okay so with the help of this slopes we can take out and by the slope we can calculate the acceleration so slope of a b we are going to take out for the AB. So slope of AB will be X2 minus X2 minus X1 and Y2 minus Y1. This is the formula you have to keep in mind when you are calculating the acceleration part with the help of velocity time graph. So we are going to calculate the first A and B. This part. Okay. This was the uh, part which I was uh, uh, which you can understand with the help of this. So now we are going to take out this. Slope of AB. With the help of coordinate system. Okay. So X2 minus Y2. Sorry. X2 minus X2. X2 minus X1. Sorry. X2 minus X1 upon Y2 minus Y1. So the value for X2 is given 5. Okay. 5. And y 0 minus 0 upon y, uh, y 1 sorry y 2 minus y 1. Y 1 value is uh, sorry that was uh, y 2 value is 5 and x uh, the y 1 value is y 1 value is 0. Okay but y 2 are we are calculating so y 2 is 5 and this was y2 minus y1 y1 is 0 and this was x2 x2 was 3 ok x2 minus y2 sorry x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1 you can keep this like this also that is uh, y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1 so this will be y 5 minus 0 and 3 minus 0. So it will be 5 upon 3 meter per second square. Okay. The answer will be 5 upon 3 meter per second square. So the acceleration acceleration is positive. Since the acceleration is positive therefore the velocity will be increased. Velocity is increasing. So with the help of this basic calculation you can see that acceleration. If the acceleration is positive. So the velocity is increasing. Now we will calculate the slope of BD. B to C and C to D. So it will it is a straight line. So we will calculate it as it is. Okay. B D. So we can see that when we were calculating for slope of A B. 
सो इट इज मूविंग अप साइड सो दैट वॉज पॉजिटिव जब ऊपर कोई क्रिएट हो रहा है एरिया और ऊपर की साइड जा रहा है सो दैट इज पॉजिटिव और जब नीचे आ रहा है घट रहा है सो दैट इज द रिटार्डेशन ओके वी वर वी हैव डिस्कस दिस टर्म रिटार्डेशन विच इज द निगेटिव वेलॉसिटी सो नाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट द स्लोप ऑफ बी एंड डी सो फॉर द बी एंड डी द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ बी विल बी एक्स वन वाई वन एंड फॉर द कॉर्डिनेट डी द कॉर्डिनेट विल बी एक्स टू वाई टू ओके सो नाउ एक्स टू सॉरी वाई टू माइनस वाई वन अपॉन एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन सो नाउ स्लोप ऑफ बी डी वाई टू इज वाई टू वैल्यू इज माइनस फाइव एंड वाई वन वैल्यू इज फाइव सो इट विल बी फाइव अपॉन वाई सॉरी एक्स टू वैल्यू इज फाइव माइनस एंड एक्स वन वैल्यू इज थ्री सो नाउ माइनस माइनस प्लस सो इट विल बी माइनस टेन अपॉन टू सो नाउ स्लोप ऑफ बी डी विल बी टू फाइव जो टेन माइनस फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस कैलकुलेशन ऑफ स्लोप बी डी यू कैन सी दैट इट इज माइनस सो नाउ द एसेलरेशन इज एसेलरेशन इज negative so now if the acceleration is negative therefore the velocity is decreasing okay or you can say the retardation retardation decreasing okay now we will calculate the slope of d and e so now we will calculate the slope of d and e okay slope of d slope of d e the value uh, the coordinate for d will be x1 by 1 and for the coordinate e it will be x2 by 2 so now by keeping the formula it is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 values are Y two is having minus five, minus y one is having minus five, minus five. Upon x two minus x one, x two is eight, and x one is five. Now you can see that when we will calculate this, means uh, minus minus plus minus five plus five, so it will be zero. so it uh, here is uh, the value will be 0 meter per second square so you can see when the slope is given in the straight line in the straight line parallel so it is zero okay the slope the answer is zero meter per second square so by this only you can see that basic calculation by basic calculation you can see that when the when we are calculating for the पॉजिटिव वन मीन्स वेन द एरिया इज क्रिएटिंग अप साइड ऊपर की तरफ जा रहा है टाइम एक्सिस के सो इट इज पॉजिटिव इट वॉज पॉजिटिव और जब ये घट रहा है नीचे आ रहा है सो इट इज नेगेटिव और जब पैरल है स्ट्रेट लाइन पे सो इट इज जीरो और जब ऊपर जाएगा देन इट विल बी ऑल्सो अगेन पॉजिटिव सो नाउ वी हैव कैलकुलेट द एरिया स्लोप ऑफ डी ई नाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट द स्लोप ऑफ ई एंड एस Now we will calculate the slope of EF. So slope of EF, the formula we have to write y two minus y one upon x two minus x one. So for the coordinate of E, the coordinate will be x one by one, and for F it will be x two by two. So y two value is zero minus y one value is minus five upon x two value is nine and x one value is a. So by this only you can see that five upon minus one meter per second square it is five meter per second square. So it is positive. So acceleration acceleration is 
positive therefore the velocity velocity is increasing okay it is positive so we have done the calculations of slopes of ab b2d d2e e2f so by this i hope that you get the points which i taught you here very, very clearly it is cleared to you properly if it is not clear then you can ask in the comment section you can comment in the comment section so that i can make the video for you more clearly so that you can understand very properly so if you like the video please hit the like button share the video subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get more latest updates thank you for watching